All right, hello everyone. BaltimoreHourly.com time. Remember to subscribe to the Baltimore Hourly YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter. That's your way to vote to change Baltimore and to shake up the media and it will make a difference if you do those two little easy things. And of course, spread the word about these videos and the BaltimoreHourly.com coming soon website to everyone in Baltimore and the Baltimore area that you know. All right, we're going to talk about uh, Joan Pratt, the Comptroller, again today and her incompetence and just a general, uh, general incompetence amongst the uh, city employees and downright corruption and stealing. So uh, Chris Crook, I'm going to give a link to his blog again. He's the one who discovered the Frank Conway Jr. videos. He's doing a great job uh, sticking on the, uh, the Comptroller and Frank Conway Jr. Um, he's, of course, bringing up the point that uh, there's, there's more to this Conway Jr. story and there's more to the reason, you know, why, why was this delayed? Why didn't she uh, expose, fire him before the election? So check out, check out Chris's stuff. I'll give a link. Um, so the Brew, Baltimore Brew, came out with some uh, good stories in, uh, that deal with the Comptroller also. Now, not with the Frank Conway stuff, but with the, uh, what's going on in the Rec and Parks. They were giving a, given a third extension um, to come up with their, their audit and their financial reports. They just seem, can't seem to get their stuff together, which is totally funny. just shows how incompetent they are. Before we get into that, too, I want to also mention that The Brew um, had a, a great story about the head of the city uh, uh, environmental control board went to the spa and the hairdresser and took trips on city time and investigation fines. Uh, Sandra E. Baker, head of the environmental control board, was rarely in the office and she racked up uh, $97,000 in salary last year and plenty of comp time. Just so basically, the Baltimore, uh, the Environmental Control Board is this horrible, horrible organization that answers to no one, doesn't answer to the citizens, goes around finding people for messy backyards. I mean, they might do some good things too, but when you, you go in front of their little judge, which is some a political appointee, you can't win. I was once, um, the city cited me for uh, uh, some problem in my backyard, and they gave me 10 days to correct the problem. Okay, no fine. Well, within that 10 days, the Environmental Control Board comes along and, and fines me. And so I go in front of the Environmental Control Board and say, hey, you know, the city said I had 10 days to fix this problem. You come along and fine me during the 10-day period I'm supposed to fix the problem. They didn't even understand that they were such morons. So I am happy. I am happy that Sandra E. Baker got busted. It's just a sin. I mean, she's just a symptom of the problem here. As I said in another video, so many people are stealing. This is just another example of it. All right, going back to stealing um, and the wreck and park and wrecks and everything, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but in, in that article about the recreation and parks giving a, a third chance for their audit, there was a great, great comment uh, by Patrick Lyons, and I want to read it to you um, underneath the article. I know we're supposed to find this upsetting and have a mad as hell, not going to take it anymore, do no type of attitude, kind of moment. But I can't stop thinking about how funny it is that the Rec and Parks Department clearly keeps no records of anything and barely functions as a government agency. It is like, it's like its whole purpose for existing, existing, is to pay for salaries of its employees and require them to stay indoors during the daylight hours so they can't commit crimes. That sums up everything I was saying in my previous video. These, these, uh, these departments, the people don't work. They're, it's just welfare. They're, they're being kept there. They're being paid to just not to go out and commit other crimes. So instead, they're just, now not everyone's a, a true horrible criminal like that, but plenty of them are, are committing crimes by stealing from the taxpayers, which is, is quite, quite a crime. So, again, this all falls back to the comptroller and that she should be doing her job. She should be auditing, auditing these organizations. I want to say, don't, don't blame the mayor on this. The comptroller, lazy that she is, just, you know, tries to blame the mayor. Oh, the mayor should be giving me money to do these audits. This is your job. You're supposed to be auditing. You're, you are creating this environment where everyone is stealing everywhere because they know no one's checking up on them. Throughout the whole city of Baltimore, every department, they know they're not going to check, get checked up on. This example right here with that, the Environmental Control Board woman stealing. The example of the park, recreation parks, wrecking parks, you can't, they, they're just, 
they don't they know they're not going to get audited they're giving time after time after time to come up with their financial records that they don't even have so again blame the controller so we as citizens can actually remove the controller the controller can be removed from office this is a serious thing that we should all be considering and telling our city council people to get on so let me let me read you the the rules here from the city charter article 5 section 2 of the city charter charter removal vacancy the city council by a majority vote of its members may remove the controller from office for incompetency willful neglect of duty or misdemeanor in office upon charges preferred by the mayor and after notice of such charges and an opportunity to be heard by the city council are given to the comptroller. So again, there we go. Let's get on the mayor and your city council representative. Let's make this a campaign maybe. I'm going to keep reminding everyone to, to let's remove the comptroller from office. Because clearly she's not doing her job at all. And it's just creating an environment throughout the city government and bureaucracies of stealing. So remove the controller. That's going to be a new theme here at Baltimore Hourly. Again, email me at Adam Mike, Adam at AdamMeister.com. Check out the Baltimore Hourly, dot, Baltimore Hourly uh, Twitter and uh, the YouTube page. Subscribe. See you later.